what is up everybody and welcome to a brand new video now a lot of you guys enjoyed me walking around different dealerships we went to russian dealerships we went to a chinese dealership and then all of you guys started to ask do i own a cadillac escalade yes i do and this car in russia costs fifteen thousand dollars now what could you get for that much money i don't know you could get yourself an old car but the question is for a lot of people ivan how in the world did you get yourself an american car in russia are they still being sold in russia i think it's time to find out and we're going to go to a dealership that is not official but they still sell american cars now let's go and check it out a flipping american car right now we're over at a place where they sell all sorts of stuff motorbikes cars grills whatever but we're here for the american car so let's go check it out so i found some pickup center by accident which we are going to visit right now doesn't say we can't film so and here we are guys we are inside the american car dealership straight up you can see look at this there's a lincoln right here a navigator for a whopping $170,000 Lincoln Navigator. What can I say, guys? What can I say? There are American cars for sale in Russia right now. There's a there's so much. This is like a dream come true after going to the Latin dealerships, to the Chinese dealerships. We have finally made it to the legendary American cars. Let's check out what they got. Let's check out. They got all sorts of stuff now this car right here is the car that i've been dreaming about for a very long time it's the brand new cadillac escalade for whooping one hundred eighty thousand dollars. how much does the car cost in your state in your country tell me guys but this is the car that i really want i mean look at it it's all blacked out looking flipping amazing this is just i have no words I am in a dream world right now with so many American cars, it's not even funny. You got your Escalade, you also got your Dodge Ram. This is a 2023 for $120,000. Oh my God, just look at the amount of American cars here. Come here. Huh? What? Чуть-чуть дистанцию. Ну что здесь снимаете? Ну да. В каких целях? В целях снимать. Ну, для каких целей снимать? Для себя. Ну, у вас есть разрешение на съемку? Да. Можете посмотреть? Откройте Конституцию Российской Федерации. Не, серьезно, мы же ничего плохого не делаем. Я снимаю видео про американские тачки. Что может быть плохого? Я же не хожу, не трогаю, не лапаю, не снимаю какие-то пранки или что-то такое, правильно? Я хожу, смотрите, сколько классных автомобилей. Все э, места, в которые я захожу, у них проблем нет с этим. Ну вот хозяин павильона, он против. Так а в чем проблема? Выключите камеру. So look, the owner of this store doesn't want us to film in this American dealership right here with those amazing cars. How could you imagine that. А в чем проблема то я не могу понять. Так вы сами все подошли к нам. Мы подошли снять классные американские тачки. Так никто, так никто не попадал до того, как вы вызвали целый консилиум вокруг нас. Вы же вызвали охрану. Он подходит ко мне, спрашивает, в чем проблема. У меня проблем нет. Так я не снимаю людей. На какой территории мы? В общественном месте, правильно? Ну, так я хожу в проходе. Я просто не понимаю, из-за чего вы делаете такую большую проблему, то, что я пришел заснять классные тачки. Все. Мы же не подходим скандалить или еще что-то. Так мы не снимаем людей, вы сами к нам подошли. So this guy, this guy is not allowing us to film. He said you can come back in 15 minutes. We got people coming in, buying cars and stuff like that. Anyways, you can see a bunch of American cars here that we were not allowed to be filming. But now I'm actually going to go around and film 
all the Dodge Rams here, you could see right here. I don't even want to go inside the guys, like I'll open it up for you. I just want to show you. We're filming around right now. It looks like there's somebody who is purchasing a car in here that we don't know of. Looks like it could be somebody from up there. Anyways, we got a bunch of Dodge Rams here. They look flipping awesome. The owner though is very scared of us filming here. I don't know why, but we need to get out of here because I think they call the coppers right now. So let's just check out the cars quick. We got Dodge Rams all over the place. They're around, like, I don't even know how much it costs. Those cars are very, very expensive. Very, very expensive. You also got a Lexus. You got an old Toyota, which is a new Toyota right now. You also got a Dodge Ram for $130,000. How much does it cost in your country to buy yourself a Dodge Ram like this? This is very, very nice. I like it. God, I would love to get myself a Dodge Ram. This is like a Dodge Ram TRX is a dream come true. What could be better than a Dodge Ram? Obviously a Cadillac Escalade, but I'm a big fan of Dodge Rams. They are just amazing. Oh my God. You also got a Lincoln right here. The amount of American cars here is just unbelievable. I've never seen so many American cars in one place, only this place. But there are actually a few car dealerships in Moscow that sell tons and tons of cool looking American cars. My car was probably bought back in the day when General Motors were actually selling the cars here. And my Escalade was assembled in Russia, in Kaliningrad. So that's quite interesting. In Russia, Cadillacs were actually assembled one day. What else do we got here? Just a bunch and a bunch of Dodge Rams, some Toyota Tundra right here. Russians really like Toyota Tundras. The Tundras are very nice. In the States as well, a lot of you guys probably love a good old Toyota Tundra yourself. So that is a story about that. $180,000 for a TRX. This is the TRX, isn't it? No, it's not. This is not a TRX, this is a lie. But it's a very, very nice looking car if you ask me. One day, mark my words, I'll buy myself a Dodge Ram. Mark my words. Very flipping nice. Oh my God. But the price point of like $120,000 is very, very expensive. Where the heck am I supposed to get $120,000 from? I have no flip an idea. And funnily enough, they actually have the brand new Hummer here, which I was surprised I got here. Let's check it out. It's very, very interesting to check out the new Hummer. Like it's not even sold all over the place. This is not like an official dealership of the car. Look at this guys, a Hummer 2023. This is a full on electric Hummer. How did it get here? No idea, but it's a cool looking Humvee. Fully electrical. This is the car that could do the crab walk and stuff like that. This is legendary. Would you guys purchase yourself a Hummer? I don't know, but this looks amazing. We're being monitored here like we're some freaking spies or something like that walking around. This is a one heck of a cool Hummer, if you ask me. Anyways, let's get the heck out of here because there's some fishy stuff going on here. Let's flip and get the heck out of here and talk about this in the car. Actually a governmental car behind me and I'm pretty sure that there's somebody from the government that is actually buying themselves an American car. I wonder how. I wonder flipping how. This is some government official buying himself some American car. I wonder with what money. We are getting the heck out of here because the guy was literally threatening me. There's some guy who is getting himself a car probably from the government or something like that. And uh, they're literally spying on us right now, looking at us. So I'm gonna pass so he doesn't remember my plates. <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna remember my plates. Flipping it, could you imagine? They were saying, what if you are an American spy? What if you are gonna record the VIN numbers and send them to America and we got sanctions? What if you do this? What if you do that? Could you imagine? Look at the amount of Dodge Rams here, look. So many of them, so, so many of them. 
The guy was like, you know, we'll open all the cars for you in 15 minutes. It's because they literally had somebody from the government who was looking to buy himself a car and uh, they didn't want him to be on video. Neither did he. The guards came in. They were like, do you have a problem? I'm like, you're going to have a problem. And I was like, call the cops if you don't like something. You know, I got the constitution. I got the right to record whatever. So there's literally there was somebody there that was looking to purchase himself a car but with what money that means that something was being hidden there and we literally came there when there was someone from the government purchasing themselves a car a very expensive car the car cars there are like a hundred thousand dollars the cheapest one i'm pretty sure so many many questions have risen on what's going on there and the guy was like, maybe you work for Ukraine. Maybe you work for the States. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And I actually felt sketched out because he was threatening me and stuff like that. So I just kind of considered leaving. They were trying to get the channel name. I was like, I'm not going to give you my channel name. Screw you. And we left. What a day. What a day. Thank you very much, Cadillac, for literally screwing this up right now. But, oh my God. I This is just unbelievable and 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 they called some guards some security guards that look like they're on their last breath and the guy was like so what's your question he comes up to me and says what's your question i'm like what's your question what do you mean you came up to me what do you want from me flipping heck i didn't record some of the parts because i was talking to the guy and he was really pissing me off and uh, i basically told him to go screw himself this is unbelievable and he was like there, it's a day before election and some guy comes in speaking English. You know, they're all being like flipping. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. Those guys are just... No words. No words. I can't believe that this country has gone through that. When you have somebody coming in, recording in English, they start being sketched out. I mean, they probably wouldn't care if they didn't have some government worker in there purchasing himself a car <laughs> i can't believe we literally walked into that unbelievable what a day guys i don't even know where to start so i thought it's a good idea to check out what those license plates on that car means because usually in russia it's very easy to find out who does the car belong to even if it's governmental license plates and I thought it's a good idea to Google it and find out who the heck was buying the car. And maybe we could have some sort of an idea who is spending the government's money on buying themselves a new Dodge Ram. When I Googled the license plates, you could do it yourself. You could pause the video and Google it yourself. It's not that hard. The license plates come back as FSB owned. So basically, I was literally speaking to some FSB guys that were telling me not to film as well. Not talking about that guard that was on his last breath or anything like that. But I was literally encountered by FSB. And it looks like I've actually interrupted a government official who is supposed to not get a lot of money from working for the government, buying himself like an $100,000 car. Wow, I don't even know how I get into situations like this, but I think it's a great video. After that, I got a sketchy call about wanting to buy my car, but I just ignored it. Wow, what a flipping day. Now, guys, if you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate if you could hit the like button, the subscribe button, comment on what you think about this video and this situation. And I would also like to know from you what you would like to see and what sort of videos you enjoy the most because you guys mean the world to me and i would like to make the content that you guys enjoy see you later guys